Hello. Oh, hello. I let you take the lead I there. You were, I thought you were talking at the same time. Hello. Welcome. Enjoy your blended family. Welcome to another edition of Stepdaughter Chronicles at Enjoy Your Blended Family, where I have my stepdaughter, also known as Riley. Riley. <laughs> Here, we've been doing several episodes together. Uh, I told her last night, today, whenever we discussed it, that I think our topics have been a little serious and heavy, and we need to do something a little bit lighter today. <laughs> I love when you get, I give you opportunity to speak, and you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I agree. I concur. <laughs> I concur. So today, we're actually going to bring you... Our step family jump start, but this is normally set up. We talk about this like in our intro or in our ad and that kind of stuff. This is normally set up for you and your spouse to do together. But I want to show you today how you can take the jump start and use it in different ways. So where you would normally plan a date night with your spouse to talk about these things, you can plan a date night with your stepdaughter to be able to talk about these things. If your relationship is not at a point you're like, yeah, right, my stepdaughter would never want to go on a date with me, that's the problem. That's why we're not connected. Then we're going to talk a little bit about that as well here in just a minute. And then maybe Riley can give some feedback on her opinion if I were to try that kind of thing, that kind of funny business back. Funny business. <laughs> funny business back in the day. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on board. I told her to match her volume with mine. So <laughs> if she's talking weird and like a robot, that's what's happening. I'm pronunciating. Okay, what are we doing? Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started for you guys here on the live. Um, I know it's during the daytime. Most people, y'all are at work, and so y'all are catching this later. We have gotten some positive feedback. People reaching out saying, thank you guys for the stepdaughter chronicles they're not actually calling it that that's just what i call it <laughs> but they're like these videos y'all have had lately with the two of you like thank you so much we appreciate it so much it's impacting and making difference in their lives and so that's the reason we're doing this right like we're not here just talking um awkwardly to a camera for our own benefit even though it is kind of fun right yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> you got nothing today i got nothing when you come at me like that <laughs> We actually just came off of a really uh, amazing, intense weekend together at yeah. a ladies event at our church that they have. So Riley was attending it for the first time. You only can go to it one time unless you're serving. And so I was there to share a word, like uh, give a teaching or whatever over grace. And man... You want to tell them just a short synopsis of your, I almost couldn't say synopsis. synopsis, a short synopsis of the weekend? Man, I mean, how do you even put that into a little synopsis? Yeah, synopsis. Uh, I mean, basically, like, basically, I came into it not knowing what to expect. But the way that God showed up this weekend was completely undeniable like it was just so undeniable and the way that he's using our family to um catapult um the relationships of other families and to um also bring people to the kingdom is just it's like out of my comprehension you know but i was just like so full of gratitude i think that was my like number one word um, when I was there that God kept reminding me, like, I'm just so grateful to be here in this moment and to be alive in a time like, like there's that verse is like, you were made for such a time as this. Like, I'm mm -hmm. so grateful to be alive in such a time as this, because God is moving in so many ways right now. Um, and in huge ways. And I really think that he's going to um, help to, um, use us to pour into the family dynamic um, yeah. really, really, um, really incredibly. I mean, I don't know how it's all going to play out, but I'm just so grateful that 
that get to be here and we get to chat with you guys and kind of share our wisdom and things that we've learned along the way um, to help to truly help you. We're coming at it with such a genuine heart. You know, like we've been there before and we know your struggles and we know all the pain that can come through it. But taking the truth of the Bible and the truth of God's word um, and declaring that over your family is such a powerful thing. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I unleashed her. She. Yeah. She, Sorry to preach on you guys. Nah, that's today. awesome. And it is, it's incredible this weekend being, for one, like God is just so good. And, you know, when he is invited into the details of your life, you see him do just amazing things that beyond your own comprehension on what we as, especially as moms, stepmoms, that we are capable of on our own, that we try to manipulate behind the scenes and make, make things happen in a way. But when I went and I sat down with my small group, which Riley wasn't in my small group. And immediately as I'm talking with the girls that were there, um, all three other ladies are stepmoms in a blended family and experiencing one form of the things we've been talking about here lately about either they've been alienated from their children or they just have a really rough relationship. Um, there's just that, you know, mistrust there. They don't really know what to do. Like there's all these things as they're talking. I'm like, this is why, um, this is why we're here. This is why we have enjoying your blended family. We believe this is why God has called us to do this for such a time as this. We have no idea what the future looks like as far as enjoying your blended family. And um, if this is a ministry, if this will be a full time job, what if our job is just to share our hearts with the people here online and um, those in our presence. But when I asked people to raise their hand because I was sharing multiple stories in my talk, my teaching about the struggles and a lot of those are rooted in blended family stuff, half the room raise their hand. And I think even more after I defined blended family being a step family or you adopted or foster or you, your parents, you come from a step family or your children are in a step family because all of that plays a factor in your blended family, right? They make things a little more complicated than the normal. And to see that many hands go up, it's like, God, I know I know that I know that you're moving and I know that people need this and they want to connect. And every mom that I talked to, that was their heart. They wished that they would be able to connect with their stepchild, whether it be at a younger age or even their grown stepchildren trying to figure out, like, what is it that I need to do to get through to them? And so today's idea is for us to just kind of show you the pathway. We didn't necessarily use this as our blended family because we created this, right? This was something after the fact, after we looked back at like, what did we do? What made the biggest impact on our family for us to be able to reconnect even through um, the worst of the worst situations where you've been disconnected, alienated, no conversations, no contact with your biological kids or your stepkids, whichever. And so this walks you through those steps. And we did test it out in the beginning when we made it by sending it off to our kids. None of them lived at home at the time and getting some of their feedback from that and then planning some things from there. We've had um, several families walk through this and experience the connection that comes from using the Step Family Jumpstart. We actually have written a book about how to enjoy your blended family. And that is the long version of this. There is a video course that you could watch that really breaks it down. Randall and I are teaching the in-depths um, of each one of these steps. Um, but this is the short condensed version. That's why we named it the Step Family Jumpstart Ways to Connect Instantly because this is something that you could print out today and you could put something on your calendar this week and you guys could start connecting immediately where the other, the course and stuff is something that we break it down so that you're doing just a little bit each week. And we're really like, we don't want to overwhelm you with the amount of information, but I'll make both of those available right now. Just the Step Family Jumpstart. If you're on the live, it's in there. So you can go ahead and click on that and you can go ahead and get it downloaded and get started. But if you want the other, um, just send us a message, send us a comment 
or I will get that in the live here as soon as possible. And if you like audio books, because we have it in the ebook, but we also have the audio format where Randall and I are reading it to you. Um, I'm just a huge audio book. So is she. We're, yeah. If we're learning something or even just for entertainment, like I like to listen to it because there's just, I would like to sit down and read. There's just not a lot of time. And sometimes I'll get sleepy when I sit down to read a book. Whereas when I'm listening, I'm doing something else with my hands. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to say something else. Oh, no. That was just, it. yeah. Just, okay. Just agreeing with you. Just agreeing. So here we go. I'm going to kind of go back and forth with like, this is what you normally would do. And this is what we're going to do today. And again, the first page is just a cover. If you're listening on the podcast and you're not watching us on YouTube, I'm going to try to be a little bit descriptive. For those guys, that way they have an understanding. But this first page that you're going to get is just steps one and step two broken down for you. And what it's going to have you do is it's going to have you and your spouse plan a date night together if this is possible. But again, I'm going to share with you the stepdaughter, stepmother version of this so that you can just do that. So for that, we just have white piece of notebook paper. So if you're like, okay, I don't have a printer at the house or whatever. You can just use a white piece of notebook paper as well. And it has these lines for hers and for his. The lighting is not great for that, but it's just the sets of lines and it has numbered down to 10. And in the ideal situation where you and your spouse are doing this together, you're planning out this date night. Um, you're making it a fun kind of moment, like set the mood, get get y'all's favorite drinks, maybe have a, a snack or make a meal, um, plan to like go out in your backyard and do this or take it somewhere, you know, like on a date somewhere, just something to make it special. And then another part of the step is you want to pray. So what we're going to do here in just a second, we're going to model what that looks like. It's not complicated when you pray, but when we're, we're doing stuff like this, if we would just take time to invite God's presence into everything that we do when we are doing things, it, it just, it shifts things. It changes things. It opens doors. It closes doors. It makes things possible where they seem impossible. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to pray for an opportunity for you to be able to sit down and do this with your stepdaughter. Are you ready? I like to hold hands. <laughs> yes, you do. So, Father, I just thank you that you are here present as my friend is listening to the sound of my voice, Lord, that it's you that's here in this moment. Father, if there's people out here that they don't even know how to have this kind of relationship mm -hmm. with you, I, I just thank you that they're seeing how simple this is to call you into our everyday yes, moments. This is what it means to make you Lord of our life. Before we do things, we mm -hmm. seek you. And your understanding, your guidance, your um, connection, all of that. So we just ask you right now for any moms and stepchildren out there, stepmoms and their kids that are out there that are trying to figure out ways to connect with each other. As we move into this next step, that you're going to give them new creative ideas, how to make this happen for them and for their children and for their stepchildren. Lord, we know how important you say family is, Lord, that you created the family unit. You want relationship and unity happening inside the home. So as we make this list of things that we enjoy doing, Lord, you created us. You created our children and our stepchildren. You gave them likes and dislikes, Lord. So I just thank you that you're going to reveal things to them that they enjoy doing, giving them new ideas of things that they want to do, Lord. And as we write those down, that we're going to be able to find some common interests. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. See how simple that was. I don't even think I necessarily quoted scripture. Um, there was <laughs> scripture-ish sprinkled in there um, from what God wants from us. And he has designed us and we do have unique personalities and things that we like and dislike. But you don't have to have this big, eloquent prayer language to be able to do that. You just call out to God and tell him what your heart desires. Yeah. And God wants to give us what our heart desires. And so here, what you would do as the adult is you're going to write down your 10 favorite things. So if you're watching on the YouTube's live right now, we're going to be writing these down. And so um, I'm trying to think 
because I want you to be able to pause this if you're watching later, which I think most people are, that you can pause this and you can come back and listen to it because we're going to be silently sitting here writing it out. Um, but then come back and then we're going to compare our notes. So you as the adult, you're writing yours down. If you were doing this with your spouse, you would have your spouse sit here and writing this down. And if you think there's no way that my spouse would do this, I encourage you first pray like we just did that he would be open and receptive that you saw he's God is softening his heart towards that. But and I have this one testimony from a friend who did this with her husband and they she was she was very nervous to ask him. So think of this with your stepchild, too. She was very nervous. She thought he's going to think this is so stupid. And she pushed through. And she did it anyways. And she had, she's like, hey, look, you know, I got this. And I just wanted to know, like, could you write down like your favorite things to do? Like, it's not that complicated, right? Like you don't even have to explain all the details yet. Can you write down like at least 10 um, things you love doing? And then she walked away. I think she went to go like shower or something. And she came out and he was still writing. And she was like, <laughs> Um, what are you doing or something like that? And he was like, man, like I'm just coming up. It's like he was finding joy and remembering the things that bring him joy. Like how special is that? Like he, he was like, man, I forgot how much I love doing this. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me write this down too. And that just melted my heart when she was sharing that with Randall and I, because we get so inside of our head as females that we think, Nobody else is going to care. Nobody else wants to do this. This is stupid. They're going to judge me. Whatever the thing you get in your head, that's the enemy trying to keep you from doing the things um, that you enjoy doing or that you could be doing. You already started writing? Yeah, don't look Oh, already. she's already getting to it. Hey, so maybe we could do that. Okay. You are writing yours while I'm talking, and then you can share your list while I'm writing mine. Yeah, that sounds great. Or you can share any other thing you want to share while I am talking. So, and we say 10, you can, if there's more than 10, do it. If it's something that you haven't done forever, think back to when you were in elementary and middle school and high school, things that just brought joy to you. One of my favorite things to do is ride a bike. And I went through a long period of time that I don't ride bikes. Um, and bike riding actually became painful as an adult because I was riding the wrong kind of bike. Once I got a cruiser, I love riding my bike. So there's things like that. Think about the things when you were younger that maybe you did with your parents or your grandparents that you would try, you would like to do with your kids. And so whatever that is, it could be a solo act, something that you like to do that you do all by yourself. Um, something that you have seen or heard other people do. And you're like, I would like to try that. Maybe you haven't done it, but it's something you've always wanted to try. Make a little section for that. And the cool thing is on here, when you're writing your list and your spouse or your stepchild is writing their list, if they have something that you're like, dang, I forgot to write that. It's okay to write it. It's not like you're <laughs> stealing their answer. I mean, the ultimate goal is for you to have common interests with each other. So if you end up hearing something that they said and you're like, oh, dang, I want that too. Add it to your list. It's okay. It's completely okay. So do you have a lot? Dang. Yeah, they're just coming to my head. They're just flowing okay. all the things. I'm going to tell y'all while she's writing. Okay. Number one okay. thing that came into my head was sushi. <laughs> I oh, love I'm going to write sushi because I like sushi. Yeah. Sushi is my absolute favorite food, I believe, ever that and wonton soup. Um, so, yeah, maybe a sushi date. Horseback riding is my second. I'm obsessed with horses. <laughs> so I really want to go horseback riding. Camping, hiking. I just put beach because, I mean, do you need any other explanation? Um, farmer's market, concerts, um, karaoke trampolines i love bouncing on trampolines or like even doing something cheesy like urban air or something mm. <laughs> i love doing that um which they actually have this like really cool thing that i was thinking about that we could do is they have like an adult bouncy house exhibit oh yes in houston and i was like oh we should so do that okay. together um, I'm a weak bladder, but I'm game. Yeah, but we're going to be laughing our butts off the whole time. Uh, what else did I put? Uh, going to watch a play. I like watching theatrical things. 
um, and swimming. Those are like the main things. So half of my things are things outside. I guess I could have just put outside. No, I love the detail in that. And in a minute, if you're like, oh, I don't have ideas like y'all are just throwing them out. I actually have our list that is comes along with the printout that has 90 different things and they're split up outdoor indoor. Oh, wow. So I didn't want you to see this list yet. We're going to read this list to you just so that it kind of sparks your thoughts if you're having any kind of trouble with that. But I like for, for the first thing to do, for, 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 I, <laughs> I like for you just to get out in your head, the things that come to mind, the things that you um, just naturally gravitate to. <laughs> uh, don't look at my list. I stopped I numbering. I know see. you do. I know you do. I do. Okay. Okay, so I have 14 things just off the top of my head. There are so many more things that I like to do, but I did do one thing that kind of clumps a whole bunch of stuff in there. So my list, you said sushi first. I love sushi, so I wrote sushi because I was just starting out. Sushi, hiking, bike. I just put bike. I'm trying to write really fast. So, but riding a bike, roller skating, sitting by water. I don't necessarily like going in water, which that's my number 13 is floating. Um, but sitting by water, that's any kind of water, lakes, beach, rivers, streams, ponds, creeks, our swimming pool, anything. A hammock, uh, which kind of goes along with the next one, swinging. So I like laying in my hammock, but I, you need the pin back. Yeah. But I also enjoy just swinging on a swing. And that's, I mean, we're adults. That's the kind of stuff we don't think about doing. Um, walking or running in the woods, um, anything new that's nostalgic. Like I love doing things for the first time and experiencing things for the first time. And I love to take people to do things to experience them for the first time. Um, I like taking pictures. Not that I'm just great at it. I just, it's not that I like taking the picture as I like capturing the moment there. I like to be able to look back at pictures. Looking back at pictures make me so happy. Like that brings me a lot of joy. So I'm not like a great picture taker. Um, and I don't have a great camera unless I'm using the iPhone 15 iPhone. If you want to sponsor us, we'll take it. Um, T-Mobile's having a deal. You can trade it in for free. Oh yeah. So T-Mobile, if you want to sponsor us, yeah. um, hopefully I'm going to be getting one soon. And so then our video quality, oh, it's going to be so nice cinematic masterpiece. Um, cause that's like the new function or whatever. Anyway. So I like having pictures for to remember that moment. I love reading, AKA actually listening to audiobooks. Mm. Um, I like stuff that teaches you, like it grows you, like self growth stuff, but also uh, stories, like fiction stories. Um, I love going to the park and going to new parks too. And I love, mm -hmm. I said floating already, and I love hula hooping. And that is an odd one, but it is a fan fair thing of mine. <laughs> so we did what would be step one is we went through and wrote down on here. It says hers and his. If you have your stepchild, um, even your biological kid, like do this with your whole family. The way it's set up is for you to figure this out with your whole family. But since this is stepdaughter chronicles, I'm doing it with her and showing you what that would look like. If you were 10 years old and I asked you to write down your favorite things to do. What do you think you would have told me? Go to hell, Scarlett. Oh, God. <laughs> no. I wouldn't have been that wrecked. Um, I don't know. I think maybe. I think any of the like going outside things. No, but if I just had wanted you to write down the list. If oh. I just wanted you to make this list. Oh, what would I do? And if I came to you and said, hey, will you write down oh, things you oh. like doing? I thought you were trying to say, like, I need you to remember what you would have liked when you were 10. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> like, I have no idea. That was a long time ago. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess it would have had to been the mood, whatever mood. Okay, been so that's in. an important note yeah. to take is timing is everything. Yeah. And first we said to pray. So mm -hmm. opening the opportunity for it. 
Um, and so if you were in the right mood, like maybe you just had a good time or whatever, do you think if I would have taken you somewhere to write it down or if I would have made it a little less formal and just been like, um, Hey, we're planning some family fun things. You want to write down some things you like doing? Yeah, I think like just I would have been fine being at the house, but that's just my personality. So, I mean, but I like going and doing things, too. So I don't know. Like, so if I bribe like, you with ice cream, maybe, and then not now, but 10 year old. Kid, yeah, any kid would have definitely loved that. Yes. And the way that it's actually set up is you are writing down your own children's list like you're coming up with those ideas if they're younger of course if they're older then you can have them come up with their list but you know for a lot of kids that are, are younger starting out in your step family um, you have like your husband like randall my husband her dad would take the time when we ran through this we actually did that ourselves and he wrote down the things that he knows that she enjoys doing. And then I wrote down the things that I know my kids enjoy doing. And you have space for that in here as well. So that's part of that where you're just getting it out. You're just writing it down. Now, if you're doing the real thing, you can then plan a family fun night. So maybe your stepchild doesn't want to feel singled out like you're asking her to do this. But maybe if her dad was asking her what she likes to do, then you probably would have made that list, right? Yeah, probably. Without a problem? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you say it like that? Because I'm just laughing at my younger self and being so hard-headed. Oh, it happens. Hey. My younger self, man, me and her would just not get along today. I'd be like, stop it. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> you would be so nice to your younger self because um, you would know what she was going through. But so you would do this as a fam, like you would do you, like his and her, that would be y'all's date night. You're focused on you. Um, you during that time, you could do another planning or whatever. This is the stuff like if you're doing the course, we tell you exactly how to do it, when to do it, what that looks like. Um, but for here, for the short condensed version, we've like sucked it all up into a quick little thing that you could do. So the second one is a family night. And then you have the kids, you talk to them and have them write down just five things. That is so quick, so easy. Like Riley came up with 10 things before I even finished talking. Mm -hmm. And if we, once we do this next step, then you're going to see like the comparing, and then you might even add more ideas down on your list as well. So you're going through and now you're looking and like, okay, this kid likes this, this kid likes this, this kid likes this. You're letting them have some input. When you give them the input, um, it just gives them so much more buy-in when it's time to actually do these things. So asking questions, make it a family fun night that you're doing together, maybe a game night, something like that, or order some pizza and then do this as part of that. Um, not like the main idea, the main thing that you're doing, but bring some fun into that as well. So then number three, if you were doing the real list, you would as a couple come together and say, oh, okay, so Randall really likes to go camping. I really like to go camping. Um, this is something we're going to prioritize. And it has just three. Like you start out just picking three things. We don't want to overwhelm you. There's going to be a lot of similarities, hopefully, in there. So you're going to start looking at your list and you're going to be like, oh, we like this, 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 and this. These are all common interests that we have. Okay, well, out of these, which do we think that we could do quicker? Like, because if y'all said you both like going to Hawaii, um, but you're not going to be able to go to Hawaii for a long time, then put that on a long-term plan. But for your short term, what is something that we could actually make happen? Randall and I both like sitting by water. Um, so that's something that we could prioritize now versus it being something along, like if it costs a lot of money and you don't have a lot of money right now kind of thing. So keep that into consideration. Then... So on here, on the paper, it's write down the dates that you would go with mom, like so me with my biological kids, me with um, with Riley. So we're going to kind of focus on that. And then there's also dates with dad. So picking a date that if you have a lot of kids, you just want to pick one for each one of the kids, something for their stepdad and them or the biological dad and them to go do together from their list and their common interest. So we're going to look at ours, though, to show the common interest thing. So we both said sushi, right? Yes. Here, you want a highlighter? 
And I got a highlighter. Did you have hiking? Oh, this highlighter sucks. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I did. You have did have hiking. hiking. Did you have biking? I did not. Okay. Did Did you like biking? You know, it's not one of my favorite things to do. Oh, okay, because so that crashed that one time. Oh, that was rough. Yeah. Um, she went shoo, straight down. Um, so then if she was like, oh, yeah, 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 she could write that down. But since no, then I'm not going to force her into, yeah, you do. You like writing bikes with me. Okay, roller skating. Did you write that? Oh, I do like roller skating, though. So you want to write that on your list? Yeah. So that is both a common interest. Do you like sitting by the water? Yeah. Okay. Do you like hammocks? Yes. Okay, so you wrote those things, so you're highlighting. Mm -hmm. Do you like swinging? Yes. Do you like walking or running in the woods? I like walking in the woods. So I could highlight walking, but not running. Do you like to do new things? Yes. Like for the first experience and for the first time. Okay. Do, did you write that on your list? I didn't, but I'm just, I, I do like it. Okay. Do you like pictures? No. She doesn't. And it's no. annoying because she has the good phone now. <laughs> um, do you like reading? Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You like going to the park? Yes. Do you like floating? You like more swimming? I like swimming. I, I mean, like... I guess you want to be like the same. Okay. Have we done this before? We've never done this. Okay. Then I just had deja vu. I was like this. Wait, hold on. We already recorded this podcast. No, we didn't. Wow. That's crazy. Okay. Um, like me saying floating and like picturing in my mind, like us having this conversation and you being in the water and me being floating on top. Like I just had that whole Well, we moment. have done that. Well, but I pictured us talking about it and oh, me like wow. visually saying that. Um, mm. Hula hooping. No, not at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay not now at you all. say some of yours that um, I did not, we didn't highlight. Horseback riding. No, it scares me. <laughs> no. It scares me. <laughs> okay. Camping. Yes. Did I say camping? <gasps> did it. How dare I? I love camping. Beach. I do like the beach. Yeah. It kind of goes along with water. Farmer's market. Oh, I do like the farmer's market. Not necessarily even to buy things. I just like to go. The atmosphere. Okay. Um, I put music. But like, I guess what I, I was... like to listen to live music. Yeah, that's I guess that's what I was trying to get with that. Okay, so I'll just put live music. <gasps> that's another thing. I love like theater, like going to plays and stuff. Uh -huh. Ballets, any of that kind of Look stuff. Look at us. We're oh, was that on your list? Going oh, to your watch a play. Too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, it's your turn. Uh, concerts, which is like the same thing, right? Kind of, but I'll write concerts just to... Karaoke. <laughs> I want to do karaoke. I really want. I'll write it down because I want to be brave and get outside of my brain. We should karaoke together in this lifetime at least once. Okay. Is it wrong to say that I want an Asian karaoke? Oh. That's what it's called. <laughs> right? Well, I have been to like an Asian karaoke place. But isn't that what it's fun. called? Yeah, I think so. It's like a different experience than yeah. regular karaoke, right? Yeah. It's like an Asian bar. Asian version of karaoke, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. kind of want to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's really fun. And you get to eat sushi. So maybe we can knock off two Ooh, things. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Love it. Trampolines. I do not. I pee myself. <laughs> Bouncy houses. <laughs> not... Not a huge fan. I would go for you and I would take Violet. But if it's an adult one. No. That's okay. If I clear my bladder maybe first. Swim. Um, well, you would have to pee in the next five minutes anyway. That is true. Swimming. I, like I don't floating. like swimming. I like yeah, floating. Definitely. Dancing. I would like to go country dancing. Is that what you're talking about? What kind of dancing? I was like dancing in general. Just letting loose and just. You're like hip hop dancing? I like. No. Dirty dancing? No, I don't like that. I like. I guess maybe that's the only category. <laughs> Ballroom dancing? No, not at all. I just being like, yeah, just kind of like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. So on my list, and I think I feel like I have more than you, or I mean, I just write bigger. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen things. Yeah. That Riley and I could go out and do together 15 ideas that we both 
enjoy doing. If you're doing this for your whole family, if you're doing the actual step family jumpstart and your kids are writing down their things or you or your spouse are writing down the things for them, you're looking across that and you're saying like, okay, maybe I don't like horseback riding, but maybe your dad enjoys horseback riding. I don't think that he does. Um, My sister. Or your sister yeah. or you know, if someone in the family, someone else enjoys that and they're old enough to go do that themselves, or even if you as the adult have to drive them, but then they get to go experience that, um, then that is something that be okay with not everybody having to do everything all together and be okay with just one or two, you know, like two of you going to do something and it not having to involve everybody or maybe like you and your daughter's going to do something or you and, you know, if there was three of y'all that like you and a step kid and a biological kid, y'all all like going to the trampoline park, then y'all go do that. And if your other step kid hates the trampoline park and your um, your husband or your wife, because they have a weak bladder like me, they hate the trampoline park, then y'all go do it. Use that time bonding, doing things that you enjoy doing. That is the beauty of this is it is it is catered a special dating menu for you and your family. How cool is that? Really cool. Really cool. And then if you look across the board and you're like, oh, all of us enjoy sushi. Plan a sushi night. Maybe even make your own sushi. We've done that here where we've ordered a $20 kit off of Amazon and then the things to make sushi. And then we spent the night making sushi together. I'm going to make some big old fat sushi. Yeah, there were some. Learned we're, a lot. Yes, yeah. we're getting better at it. We need to pull that out. We haven't done that in a while. Sushi for dinner? <laughs> Maybe. We'll have to. What is. Yeah, we could probably make that happen. So, right. but if there's something in here, like everybody loves going to the beach or everybody loves sitting by water anything to do with water, but maybe you like to sit by water and your spouse likes to get in the water and your kids like to play in the water and someone else likes to read a book by the water. Plan a time that y'all go find a body of water and everybody kind of gets to enjoy the thing that they like to do at that place. So you're trying to find as much as you can where it's across the board, everybody enjoys doing it. And then you're going to write those things down. So if Riley and I were to look at this list and we're like, okay, what is something that we out of this we really enjoy doing and we could do soon? So we just said sushi. That's yeah. one. I know like the farmer's market, you're out of honey and that could be coming like if that's coming up soon. And then we just finished going camping together or like going on a retreat together, you know, yeah. maybe or that karaoke night that got us both very excited talking about it. So maybe that's the thing that we choose next. So pick like three things and then get it on the calendar. Maybe it's just one thing a month depending on how often you have your kids, how often your stepkids come, maybe they're not going to come till summertime. Now you have three ideas to spread out, disperse amongst the summer for you to do with them. So be thinking about those kind of things. Don't overwhelm yourself. Like you have to do one of these a week and date your spouse and date this kid and date this kid. Like, but pick something, be intentional with it and get it on the calendar. Because if you don't, then it's more likely is not going to happen when you're not planning for it. Then there's this category on the real one um, for things you would like to try to do as a family. So if there was something when y'all started talking about it and someone was like, well, I want to do this. And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds really cool. Then maybe y'all all like it. Maybe it is the trampoline park. Oh, OK, yeah, let's go try that out together. Maybe it is karaoke. This is something we want to do together. Let's figure out how we can make that happen. And if there's anything big and it's going to take some money to save for it, then put it on the calendar six months from now and begin to plan and prioritize around that so that you can make it happen. You know, if it's sushi, like take out of your dinner budget, if you have a dinner budget, but take out of that and then go and do that as your date idea. See how you can kind of make things happen with the resources you have. And that's the last step to put it on your calendar. So the next couple of pages, though, is just written up describing these things so that you are like, what the world am I supposed to do with that? It gives you and it breaks it down um, in word form. And if you're not watching the video, you have that on here. But then the last page is the 90. Oh, I'm trying to get the lighting this way, this way. It's the 90 different date ideas. So do you want to read off 
the at home and then no, I'll read off the at home because you like outside stuff. <laughs> okay. And so this might be you already made your list and now you're like, okay, wait here. Like maybe your stepdaughter's not with you right now. Maybe she's at her mom's house. Um, try not to like tread on their time, you know, as much as possible. But if you only have your step, like only see her in the summer or something like that, go ahead and take some time to send it and get an idea. Um, but if you see her, like if she's at your house every other week or every other weekend, I would save it for that time. But then you could give her this list or give him this list and be like, out of this, are you sure we didn't do this already? We didn't, dude, I swear. I am just having such deja vu. Um, maybe because wow. I've been on here, but maybe I feel like me and you talking about this. Maybe because I look like my dad. Did you do it with my dad? <laughs> I have probably done this <laughs> with your dad. Maybe that's what's giving you deja vu. You look no, at my I'm... face and you're like, oh. <laughs> no, it's like certain things that I'm saying, but anyways, um, and like joshing. picturing you here. Anyways, but take some time after they've made their own personal list. Let them look at the list. And if you want to give them the list and let them just straight highlight, make it easy for them. Um, do that. If not, because then they have to write them all out, make multiple copies or maybe give each kid a marker and have them put a dot next to it. If this is something they're interested in, that way you're not having to print out a bunch of copies. Um, and then you can visually see, oh, like all the kids marked on this one. So you read the outings and I'll read the at home. Okay. Go to the park, which we put that. Work out to ooh, work out together. Nope. Play basketball. Beach day. Go swimming. Free museum. That's fun. Go I hiking. Like that. Go for a walk. Geocaching. Okay, pause. So if you were like listening right now and you had your list, you could be writing that down. Oh, yeah, yeah, museum. Oh, yeah, yeah, geocaching. I love that. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, watching the sunrise or the sunset. Explore the library. Volunteer together. We should do that. That sounds really awesome. Frisbee golf. Scavenger hunt. Bike ride. Ice cream shop. Pet store. Thrift store challenge. What is that? That's when you give, like, we've done this before. I don't, yeah, I think you've been there with Chelsea and Riley when we were in Houston. Oh, oh So, like, okay. you, you either give money and you're actually buying stuff, like $20. Okay, you're going to pick an outfit for me to wear. I'm going to pick one for you. Mm. Or you could go and just have fun and, like, you put together outfits and do, like, a little fashion show. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, dessert date. Go fishing. Art museum. Fruit picking. Oh, that sounds fun. Um, go crabbing. It is strawberry picking season, too. Okay, so when are we going? Are we going next weekend? Um, Susan really loves Froberg, so we would invite her as well. Okay. Batting cage, skating rink, snow cones, um, planetarium, try a new restaurant, shoot BB guns, painting class, go kart raceway. Bowling, amusement park, adventure in the city, sporting event, axe throwing, miniature golf, indoor trampoline, dinner cruise, theater, canoeing, water park, laser tag, go to the zoo. So those are all outdoor date ideas. So if you were listening, again, you could be writing these down because you're listening to us. Just print it out, you know, or take it. I'm about it. to send this to like my sibling. Like, yeah, I think they would like them. that, especially with your brother and your sister coming down here yeah. in the next month and get those ideas. Um, even if you don't have a printer right now, if you just add in your email, you immediately, it doesn't even email it to you. It just, it, I'm gathering emails because that's what people do. But like we were just talking about that last night, like I hate reading emails. I do not want to send people emails. I'm sorry if you're waiting for an email from us because we say in the podcast at the end of it, because I haven't re-recorded an outro that we send out emails every week. We don't because we do not like to sit down and write them. And we even have them all ready to go, but in, it's, it's just overwhelming. The whole email thing is overwhelming. So just know we're not going to bombard your email and you actually have it right then and there. You click the button and it's on your phone. Um, so you can screenshot it. And like she said, she's going to send it to her other siblings that live in another state and get some ideas to do with them. So those are all the outings like that are outside of the house. Because we've done this with Riley and Devin, huh? Like making their list? Yeah. Um, I sent it to y'all, like all of y'all, like a couple years ago when we first put this together. 
Well, I'll send it to my team. Okay. Good idea. Thank you for including them. Well, they <laughs> are included. When I said siblings, I meant all of them. Oh, you meant them too. Okay. But awesome. I didn't know if you were talking about like if you had already done it or not with them yet. So that's what I was asking you first. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have. It's been a while and we need to like refresh so that we can get some new things on the calendar. So then your at-home dates. And again, some of these are free. And some of these cost some money. None of them cost a whole lot of money because we don't like to spend a whole lot of money. So read a book together. Play video games. Movie night. Parents' choice. Play an old board game. Stargazing, which we love doing. And we just recently did. Look through old photos. That's another thing I love to do. Make a fort. Tea party cook dinner together, play ball in the yard, watch. Me and your dad have done that and, like, toss the ball, like, back and forth. And we actually enjoyed that. Y'all have? Yeah. When we were in our <laughs> very short empty nester stage, yeah. um, we had this thing called yard ball. And it's, like, made out of this, like, softer material. So it's softer than your – well, your dog ate it now. No, not yard ball. Yarn. Wait. No, it was Yard Ball. It was called Yard yeah, Ball, right? I and it's it. simply made for you tossing. And we would sit here in the house or we would go outside and we would just toss the ball back and forth to each other while we were talking about stuff. Um, they made it for that, like even office environments and stuff. Bye, parents, new <laughs> Yard Ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, watch old home movies, play a card game, make paper airplanes, make a bucket list which this whole thing is a bucket list, so you could put that together. Movie night, kids pick, fly kites. I also enjoy doing that. Do a puzzle also. Uh, buy a new board game, make a dessert together, fondue night, make ice cream sundaes, bake cookies together, roast marshmallows, also favorite. Well, we can see who created this list. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is just a generic <laughs> list. I just happen to like lots of things. I'm just messing with you. Oh, candlelight dinner. And that's fun even for the kids and the family. Like, you don't have, it doesn't have to be a romantic candlelight dinner, but just something different out of the norm. Rent a movie. Build a birdhouse. Build a birdhouse. Isn't that cute? That sounds like the best time of my life. Can we do that? Sure, we'll have to right. find a birdhouse. Right. Maybe Lowe's, Home Depot. Lives. <coughs> oh, sorry. We can just do it with a saw. You know your dad doesn't want you to use a saw. He's made that very clear. He doesn't want you to lose fingers. <laughs> Make a pizza together. Water balloon fight. I love the idea of water balloon fights. I hate actual water balloon fights. The water balloons hurt. Hmm. DIY craft, a DIY painting, which we did when you lived um, in Alabama, oh, yeah, we did do we that. We did a long distance DIY painting. So some of these you can get creative. Like even like the next one, buy a new video game. Maybe you buy a video game, you buy one for your kid that doesn't live with you, and y'all play it online together. And her and her brother play video games. They play what's not y'all playing all the time? Roblox or something? Oh yeah, Roblox. I mean, so it's like our thing. He loves it. So I mean that's something even the that you can do like from far distance. Grill something, slip and slide and sprinklers, plan and throw a party, build something, plant flowers or garden, which we're trying, buy remote control cars. That sounds like so much fun to me. I love doing remote control cars. <laughs> Badminton, make your own ice cream. That is something I've really always wanted, one of those homemade ice cream makers. Um, water oh, gun really? war, Nerf gun war, croquette or croquet. How do you say it? Croquet. I thought it was croquet. Oh, croquet. So we like we bought one of those because that's something like I kept mentioning that I wanted to do. And so Randall bought us a set. And that's a memory that I have with my grandma. So it's, you know, it just brings that back. And so I wanted to do it as well. Um, outdoor games like horseshoes. Um, I like the idea of playing that as well. And if you could get me out there, I enjoy it. But for some reason, the work to actually be like, oh, do I want to? Like, I don't even have playing darts on here. That's something Randall and I do randomly when people aren't around. Oh, darts is fun. Darts. Oh, we just got zoomy in here. Um, and then order takeout, which is something we never, ever, ever do in our home is order. That's true. I can't even remember the last time something came Family to Family pictures. Our house. Nope, we went and got it. 
we don't order pizza here. It's just something like we don't order food to be delivered to us because of the extra expense. You should we, order Chinese food one night. I do want to order Chinese food, but I want it in a box with the and chopsticks. Watch, yeah, and watch rom-coms. Yeah, that sounds like the best night ever. Yeah. So, and now I guess now that technology allows us, not technology, life allows us to have people deliver food to our door. We could do that more often. So yeah. here's 90 different ideas, indoor and outdoor, free things and things that cost money um, for you to do with your family. So now as your child, your stepchild, as you read through this list, or maybe her dad sent her this list, then you let her pick those things that she likes to do from this list. Man, you would have just such an extensive list of things for y'all to go do together. But remember, pick the things that you like to. That is the goal. Not that you're miserable. Like I'm going and riding horses with her. I could go ride horses with her. And I guarantee you, we would probably laugh so hard that I would pee myself. And we would have memories that would last a lifetime. I could do that. But to start out when you're trying to find something to bond and connect with, find something that is an interest for both of y'all so that you both are all in on that activity. <sighs> Anything you would like to add? Uh, no, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Yeah, but don't forget to put it on your calendar. That is an important step. Pick a and date. Stick to it. Don't let like other things like get in the way of it. Like other important quote unquote things. Like stick to it, stay true, be a person of your word because that accountability and that, um, what is it? That stability is going to be, um, your kid is really going to value that. For yeah. Me. And being consistent, something yeah, to look forward to, write it on the calendar and circle it. Be like, this is when we're going to go do our hangout. And I'm guarantee you like nine out of, well, you might have a 50 50 chance in some of your step family relationships. But most of the time, if it's something that they want to do and you present it in a way and you've prayed about it before, there's going to be a way for it to happen. If there is just completely shut off to the idea of going with you, find something that you and them and their sibling or something like to do. Yeah. Um, or really encourage, listen to me. Okay. This is the last part I'm going to say before we close up. Okay. Really, really encourage if your stepchild will not go out with you to bond and connect, begin to encourage and do this for them and their their dad. Um, we have a, a couple that listens to us. And the one thing that the daughter wants more than anything is to have that one on one bonding time with her dad encourage that be the one that leads that even if your husband is not about all of this and you don't get any credit for it and you're behind the scenes and you're finding the things your husband likes to do and you're finding the things your daughter like your stepdaughter likes to do and you find a date that they're both available you find things for you and your kids or you and your friends or you just have a peaceful night to yourself and you encourage them to go enjoy life together. And I guarantee you, the more your daughter feels like they're not threatened by this relationship, your stepdaughter's not threatened by this relationship and you're not taking their dad away from them, they're still going to have that time to connect. They're going to be more open and willing to be able to have that relationship with you as well, because that's when you listen to some of our videos, that was one of the things is, is Riley had her dad to herself. And now there was me and these other kids all treading on her territory. And it made her, it made her sad. It made her upset. It was not normal for her. So take some time to be the one that gets no credit, but yet you're helping them bond with each other and it's going to improve your relationship. And again, if you do all of the things and you find all the stuff then y'all can do some things as a family as well, you want to pray us out of here? Yeah. All right. My hand holder. Uh, God, we just thank you so much for um, giving us this opportunity to just speak to um, these families, father, and just to help them really connect Jesus because um we know that the enemy really, really targets the family dynamic, God. And Lord, we just pray that with this um, family jumpstart, Lord, that you're able to bring these families closer together and able to um, fill them with joy and fill them with laughter and fill mm -hmm. them with love yes, and amen. memories. Yes. Um, Father, that is going to catapult all of their relationships together, Jesus. And Lord, I just 
pray that each family member, um, Father, who is listening to this, Father, that you just continue to give them an Jesus, open mind yes, and yes. an open heart. Father, Thank we pray Jesus, over yes, the stepmother and the stepdaughter dynamic specifically, God. Um, and Lord, we just pray that that, yes, that perfect, each stepdaughter yes. and each stepmother, Father, um, that you just continue to open their minds and open their hearts to each other. And um Help them to act in love and um, encouragement, mm-hmm. Father, mm-hmm. to each other. And, mm-hmm. Father, we just pray that they just continue to grow so close together, Father, as they continue to put you at the forefront of their home. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I am so excited for Woo! you guys. Let us know. Reach out to us. Tag us in your social media post. Hashtag enjoying your blended family mm-hmm. so that we get to see what y'all are doing together. Send us a DM on Instagram or on TikTok or in our Facebook group and let us know like, thank you or what you mean. You don't have to tell me thank you. I guess I'm asking for a thank you. But just that like this, that it worked, that you used it, that it made a difference and an impact. Man, it builds us up so much. Like sometimes we'll start to doubt, like what are we even doing here? Um, and yeah, then, this just made me excited today. I didn't expect like anything, you know, but I was, I got like, Oh, you're excited for all the fun stuff yeah, to do? I'm excited. I want to do it today. Yes, well, we got to do taxes today. Yeah. God. <laughs> if, it's, if you haven't done your taxes yet, it's the deadline. So Be praying for us because we have no idea what we're doing. Yeah, probably filing an extension. <laughs> of some sort. Anyways. That's the plan. Anyways, until next time, remember to enjoy, enjoy your blended, blended family. family. We're getting really good. We got that. Yeah, we got that. Yeah. We got it right on time.